It's the National Football League on EA Sports, where division rivals will clash in the NFC North. It's the Lions and the Bears, and it's coming up next. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to one of our favorite spots, Venerable Soldier Field in Chicago. This was the scene a moment ago as the Bears emerged from their tunnel. Ready for football are they, and ready for football are we as the Bears get set to match up with the Detroit Lions. With my good friend Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gaughan, and Charles, we have arrived at another new season. I had a little more pep in my step this morning. <laughs> I know you did as well. Here we go. Yeah, when you went out for your five-mile jog, you were flying. You <laughs> did it in record time because you were psyched up about this game. But let's be frank about it. No more radio shows, no more podcasts, no more just predicting what's going to happen. Now we get to see it on the field. Soldier Field. And this will be a touchback as Ed sails over the end line. for the first time with David Montgomery. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. Call it officially a loss of two on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. <laughs> I think sometimes when you're trying to get after the quarterback, maybe it's better to be lucky than great because I think on that one, he's just trying to get upfield and rush the passer. Instead, the tackle for the loss landed right in his lap. Escaping the pressure right. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. Give him seven there on the tuck and run, and they're in better shape now for third. Here's Fields. This one swung out to Montgomery. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Eight yards, first down as they're able to convert. Now Montgomery running right. A first down and then some for Montgomery. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. Coming in, he really liked his chance of having a big year based on a terrific offseason. And runs like that on opening weekend show that he's right. First down, they run again. Here's Montgomery. And little room to maneuver there. He gets it down to about the 39. And he was brought down by big Levi Onwazurike. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Back to throw. Fields. Oh, and that'll be incomplete. Oh, he took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. They'll need to get it to the 30 for a first. This is third down. Now Fields. Swings this out here for Cohen. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. First down for the Bears, a gain of 15. Montgomery back to the ground, able to push his way through. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. 
Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. Well, we saw David Montgomery lead the nation a few years back in broken tackles when he was at Iowa State, and he's proven to be difficult to bring down in the NFL as well. And he's got his man. That's Robinson. Touchdown, Bears. It's a six-yard touchdown pass. And the Bears are on the board here first in the season opener. Santos with the extra point. And it's now a 7-0 game. That time, a nine-play drive. And it culminates in a touchdown for Chicago. On the return, Williams. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. They'll come out throwing here on first down. Into the secondary, past the 40. And all the way up to the 45-yard line. An excellent way to start the drive there, 18 yards. Well, there you go, Charles, the first completed pass of his young career. And we expect it not to be his last. Very good to get the first one out of the way, though, as he begins his career. On the option to give to Swift here. And he's got it across midfield and into Bear territory. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. They'll drop to throw. Looking left side, he's got it complete. And he'll go out of bounds right around the 40. Rookie to rookie on the hook up there, and it's a first down. A nice completion there for the first down. And Charles, you think about the quarterbacks of recent vintage that have been thrust into action week one. It's no guarantee of future success, but we sure have seen some good ones. We certainly have, partner. How about Joe Burrow with the Bengals in 2020? He was excellent. Kyler Murray with the Cardinals. The best part about his game has his team run the brink of the playoffs. And Deshaun Watson has won division titles after having started from day one. On second down, Swift. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. First down, Lions on a pickup of 13. But they're getting ready to go to work now in prime real estate after that last run. Found his spot and picked up nice yardage, didn't he? And now he's got him knocking on the door of the red zone. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. He's to the 10. And he'll finally be taken down at the two-yard line. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. That may be a sneak peek on this opening drive of what this young rookie can showcase, his legs. And normally, as you start a game, you're just thinking, can he get the snap? Can he hand off? Can he just execute? Instead, he doesn't waste any time on wrapping another dimension to his game, showing off those wheels and picking up some nice yardage. And that is caught. Touchdown, Detroit. A great play there with his first career touchdown in his first career game. And the Lions are an extra point away from tying this thing up. Those are the drives that prove a lot. You got a rookie quarterback, Charles, you're on the road, takes him down, throws the touchdown pass. And in a game like this, with, as you described, a rookie quarterback, the team usually says, okay, we got to take care of this guy. We got to protect him. But when he goes out and plays like this on the first drive on the road, he doesn't have to say, I'm here to be your leader. They just need to follow him. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. And Charles, nothing like squaring off with a division opponent, a division rival in week one. Do you like that they are matching up this early or would you prefer a game like this be a few weeks down the road? I actually like the early matchup for a few reasons, Brandon. First Ain't of all, doing it allows you to see that in the entire offseason and know, hey, right out of the gate, we're playing a division game. Second part is it spreads them out a little bit. If you just have them all bunched up at the end of the year, that's not as much fun watching teams try to survive that gauntlet when you do have injuries down the stretch. And last but not least, let's face it, we're TV people. What a great game to sell right out of the gate. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. 
Now it's Fields. Wide open receiver complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Mark that down as a pickup of 13, and the Bears have the first. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass on the first drive and comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. Really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him, and I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw when they went through two-minute drill, when they went through all the different situations. Ball hardly hit the ground, and I thought, yeah, he might be locked in for this one. Fields throw complete here to commit. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Fields on third down. Now, nowhere for Fields to turn, and down he goes. <laughs> Levi Onwazurike with a big-time sack on third down. It's a loss of seven. On is the punt team now as this one's sent away. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. Back onto the field come the Lions for their second overall drive. They were successful last time finding the end zone on their opening drive of the season. And they'll get another shot here with a first and ten. They'll try and start this drive in the air. It's caught on the right side by Robinson. Five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. They run out of the gun with Swift. After a gain of five, they'll wind up being about a length of the football short here on third down. They'll try and run here with Swift. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. These two teams all tied after one. The Lions with the football here to begin the second quarter as they've got it with a first and 10. Looking to throw. Pressure, and he's taken down. A bare sack. Eddie Goldman with a sack. It seemed like he kept going through those progressions, and I thought he might dump that underneath, but he couldn't get rid of the football in time. And I have to wonder if he was thinking while he was back there, I wish there were a lot less progressions on this play, just someone that I can dump the ball to and get it out of my hands. Now a nice throw here right side. He hauls it in. It'll be a pickup of 15 as that'll lead to third down. Another completion there. Uh, you know, we think about the draft back in the spring. He was selected, obviously, the number one overall pick. There's great money with that, but Charles, I would think maybe an extra burden too, or is that not that big of a deal at all? It actually is in the beginning of his career an added burden, but it's one of those things that if you play well, it becomes something that justifies why you were taken number one. You're fine with that. If you don't play well, it can be an albatross. Back to throw now on first down. Flushed out right. He's got the first down here inside the 30. He's going to go out of bounds, go. but he takes go. this one down here just shy of the 20. No one there to help out downfield, but no problem. Scrambling for 22 and a first. Some early fireworks from this rookie quarterback getting the start in week one. And every time a rookie quarterback gets to start week one, you and I both know the extra attention that comes with it. We know that he's going to throw the football, but will he make the right decisions? And in this case, with his legs, he showed the defense there's an extra dynamic to his game. Now a first and 10 at the 11. On the option to give to Swift here. 
And able to get him inside the five here, just inside the five to about the four. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. But no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. He'll keep it himself. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. A great effort there. Making quite a splash with his second touchdown in his NFL debut. And the Lions have taken the lead. Well, we saw so much of this last year at the college level, but there you go. His first rushing touchdown as an NFL quarterback. And with the speed he has, we certainly know it won't be his last because that's something that aided him very well, as you mentioned, at the college level. It's something he's going to carry over, and they'll make it a big part of their offense. Extra point by Koo, up and good. And that makes the score 14-7. to So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it results in a four-yard touchdown run. On the return, it's Tariq Cohen. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this Let's to go. about the 23. David Montgomery ready to take the field for the Bears' next possession. Now the ground game's been good, but they're losing here in the second quarter. Can they use that ground game maybe to work the air attack a little bit more? I think so, because now you can throw play action off of being able to run the ball effectively. And oftentimes, you might want to just swing your back out of the backfield, get the ball in his hands in open space, and just don't get totally away from running it, because some of these runs now, they may pop bigger as the game goes along. Yeah, they've been good with a run so far. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. On the draw, this is Cohen. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. When a draw works, it can be a thing of beauty. But when it doesn't, oh, it can be ugly. And in this case, loss of yardage ugly. Let's go, defense. Let's get out the field, defense. On second and 11 now. Fields. It's complete to Robinson. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. Fields. Flush to his right. And Fields going to have the first down before sliding to a halt to avoid the contact. Fields, we know he has the good moment. He flashes it there as he scrambles for the first down. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. A shotgun snap, Fields. He finds his man complete. That's McCormick. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. The Bears on the move. They've got another first down. First and ten at the 30 yard line. Five, five. I got one. I got one. Now a give running left with Montgomery. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. They'll fight forward for a couple down inside the 40. Vision is so important for the man in the middle because his ability to, to, to look through all the clutter that's happening in front of him, diagnose a play, and then go make it and finish it, that's when the great ones know that they have the goods. Steps away to his left. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. Five yards that time out of the scramble. But now they're looking at a fourth down situation. Eight, 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 
Santos kick is up and through. And they'll cut the lead back down to four now at 14-10. So the three points there in CD, that helps them inch a bit closer. Yeah, partner, when you're losing, any points you see go on the board in your favor, you're happy to take them. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Now the Lions offense, they get ready to head back out there. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And he'll go down. The Bears get there for the sack. Eddie Goldman picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Well, that's the second time he's been sacked so far in the first half. And if they have designs on having a big year, on going anywhere, they've got to find a way to keep him upright so they can throw the football. Meanwhile, the throw here is complete. They get 16 out of that one, but they'll still need to convert on third. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. He's got his man, T.J. Hawkinson. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. that coming up in two minutes we'll again head down to visit with Jonathan Coachman in Orlando back for another year he'll have scores from around the NFL here on this opening weekend they'll look to throw here on first down oh he's going to let this go for the end zone and this one is incomplete I like the fact that he took the shot deep downfield even if you don't get the catch maybe you get a defensive penalty and pick up the yardage that way They'll look to throw again. He finds Robinson. And he's out of bounds just before the midfield stripe at the 49. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Well, another completion there, and what, what a big moment in a young quarterback's life that first NFL started. Charles, obviously they want him to win games, but if they're looking at him under a microscope in this first month or so, what do you think they're hoping to see from him? Well, for every question they'll have for him, they should have for themselves as a coaching staff because it's not just how quickly can he learn the offense, it's what they can teach him, right? How can he build a relationship with his receivers? And, of course, how open is he to learning? And, of course, how open are they to giving him things that he can put in place on the field? Under pressure, and he'll go down. Sacked back at the 31. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. He'll look to throw. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. And give him 10 that time as he was able to get away from the pressure and get a nice game. Well, he's proven real effective running the football. No one open, don't force it. Just get what you can. And that's what he's done very well in this game. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And he's going to go down. He's sacked back in the 24. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. And that is no good. And this score will stay right where it is. Everything looked good. Good snap, good hold. Sometimes, though, the ball just doesn't want to go where you want it. And this one winds up no good. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. And with him trailing, there is still enough time to try to string a few plays together, maybe get into field goal range. Uh, nowhere for Fields to turn, and down he goes. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. After the sack on first down, Fields. Open man is Komet, the tight end. And he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. 
That's a good bounce back play right there after taking a sack on first down. Didn't quite get it to the marker, but now they're in a much better spot for a third and short yardage call through the offensive coordinator. You like looking at that section a heck of a lot better than trying to figure out third and long. Now the Bears will use their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. On first and 10, here's Fields. He's going to air one out. Oh, that's in a double coverage and intercepted. Picked off by Will Harris. And the Lions will take over here at their own 14-yard line. That, Charles, the first interception he's thrown here in year number two. And I know it's just the first one, but didn't it feel like what we saw from him last year where he was plagued by this type of a play? And they thought that, you know, over the offseason, going into a second season, some of that would go away. Thus far, still looks a lot like his rookie year. Escaping the pressure right. And he'll be just shy of the 20 at the 19 as he goes out of bounds. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. Back to throw here. Robinson's got it. And able to get this across the 20 before going out of bounds. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to it? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connect. Pressure, and he's taken down. A bear sack. So we've reached halftime here on opening weekend. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome back to football, everybody. We've got a full slate of 16 games here to start the new season. So let's take our first trip around the NFL. We'll begin up north at MetLife Stadium over in New Jersey. And it's the Giants who have the lead as they approach halftime. Saquon Barkley, over 100 yards on the afternoon thus far with a touchdown run as well. From there, we head down the turnpike to see what's happening with the Eagles at home in Philadelphia. And it's the visiting Minnesota Vikings who are out in front. Two touchdown passes for Kirk Cousins there. Finally, we're off to Atlanta. Check on the Falcons at home at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. And you can see there, it's the visiting LA Rams who have the lead in that one. Robert Woods, a touchdown reception. Time now for a check of the next-gen stats in that first half for the Lions. And even though they've got a halftime lead, they're likely devising ways as we speak to try and get a little more production from their passing game. Meanwhile, for the Bears, they too found some success throwing the football. But I think both teams would say there's room for improvement in the second half. It's a new season, so both of these coaching staffs likely making plenty of adjustments after their first half of football. So for the call of the second half here in week one, we go back to Brandon and Charles. Okay, coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Now we get a peek at the captain of this offense heading back out there. What can they do now, Charles, to make sure this highlight montage doesn't continue to show more pressure and pressure and pressure? You feel like it always comes back to leverage, don't you? Who is going to win that battle of the offensive and defensive lines? Low man wins, we talk about that, but we think about it in a running game. Well, guess what? The same thing happens when you're trying to pass protect. Are you low? Are you balanced? Are you in a position where the pass rush won't bowl you over on their way back to the quarterback? They've got to reestablish that in order to try and keep their man upright. Because they have been bowled over a lot so far in this one. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. Five catches for him in that first half, and that's number six that we just saw, and also a first down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up Rip. Breaks the tackle, he's got room to run. Touchdown, Detroit. A big play there. 
making quite a splash with his second touchdown in his NFL debut. And the Lions are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Well, fair to say that when you're looking at guys that can run like the wind, you often find him at the wide receiver position, and that was special there. Well, in this league where coordinators worry so much about drawing up the right routes, blocking assignments, misdirections and stuff, they have these precise arrows and movements. Sometimes the best plays just come from the schoolyard where you look at your fastest guy and say, go long, go get it, big man. Koo able to connect on the extra point, and that makes it a 21-10 game. That drive started on their own 25. Two plays, 75 yards later, into the end zone. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Here's Cohen now to return. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. So here are the Bears now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. And their deficit a little wider than it was at halftime. Does that touchdown a minute ago change the thinking here at all? I think it does, at least a little bit, because now urgency has to start setting in. You can't go out there and go three and out and run the risk of falling behind substantially, but you have to do it without pressing, because pressing, that'll lead you into bigger errors. On second down now. It's Montgomery, and they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 64 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. We often give credit to the O-line there. Two tight end formation. Those tight ends block pretty well also. Yeah, and that's one of the most dynamic positions in football now. The tight ends who can block at the line of scrimmage at the point of attack, and they can also get downfield and catch the football. Five yards on the catch there brings up second down. A give to Montgomery out of the gun. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. They got five through the air last play. Now five on the ground. First and ten. And that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run. And at that yardage gained, they can run that play on any down. Montgomery. And they'll get this just to the 47. One yard gain. No doubt about it, a really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. A Chicago first down there on a gain of 11. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. It looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. First down, here's the run with Montgomery. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. 11 more on that one, and another first down. Interior of that line blocked really well on that run, but also the two tight ends, they blocked well too. Not only have they scouted the line of scrimmage, with their agility, they can get upfield and hit moving targets like linebackers, defensive backs. They do a really good job helping out the running game. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. That was a touchdown if he could have hung on. Instead, it was a well-timed collision to jar that one free. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. A give, this is Montgomery. And he is in, touchdown Chicago. David Montgomery taking it in from 11 yards out. And the Bears draw a bit closer. They'll try and throw for it. And he's got it. So the try for two successful. And with it, they're back within a field goal. I guess 
as the coach looked at the two-point cheat sheet, said go for it, get it to a three-point game, and they did it. Yeah, and sometimes you just throw out time of game. You don't worry about that. There's just a feel sometimes in making that call, go, and he felt go, good about go. what he had for a two-point conversion, and now they're only down three and feeling great about themselves. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. Their lead down to a field goal now as they start with a first and ten. He'll drop to throw. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. As they began this drive, I was wondering how they were going to attack since they're playing with the lead. Would they continue to try and push the ball downfield? Well, after one play, it appears that the answer is yes. And he'll go down. The Bears get there for the sack. Well, collectively as a defense, Charles, I think if you get four sacks a game, you're feeling really good. Now they have six as a unit. And that type of a number, it's just staggering because there's so many ways to try and counteract it. But in this case, they've got no answers for this unrelenting pressure coming at their quarterback. Give him seven there on the tuck and run, and they're in better shape now for third. to throw finding some room at midfield and he takes it across the 50 to the 46 yard line he's been big two touchdowns earlier now he's got a first down here whenever we talk about moving the sticks and controlling the football there's a great example right there those are the third downs you need to convert to win football games we're in the third quarter of this one and this is a tight one in order to maintain pace keep the ball away from the other team and put points on the board the touchdown, Detroit! A great play there. Now with his third touchdown in his first ever NFL game. And the Lions are able to grow their lead. And remember, partner, that's a rookie quarterback back there. Apparently, he's getting the hang of this NFL thing pretty quickly. And three touchdown passes. You're right. He looks comfortable. What are they doing? Anything in particular? Well, they keep talking about making sure they're giving him plays that fit his talents and also maybe shrinking the playbook a little bit. They did tell us that. Bottom line, he's really good. So the Lion offense staying on the field as they're going to try for two. They'll look to throw. And he will get into the end zone. So the lead stretches from 9 up to 11. So they go with the pass, and it works there on the two-point try. Charles, just in general, what are your thoughts passing versus running on two-point conversion? Situational? It is situational, and you have to know your team. What is your strength? Because so many people think you have to throw the ball on a two-point conversion, but the stats will tell you that running it is about as proficient. So know your team and go to your strength. Montgomery ready to take the field for the Bears' next possession. He's had a good performance, moved the ball effectively on the ground. Of course, he has the one touchdown. And when you're able to move it as effectively as you've described, that leads to finding a way into the end zone, and now he's just trying to do it for a second time. And of course, with that, comes additional yardage. Yeah, looking for additional yardage, and again, that second score here in the third quarter. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. From the gun, here's Fields. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlinesman. Incomplete, so the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now Fields. That's complete to Mooney. And he will be marked down short of the first as they get to him at the 29. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up fourth. Here comes the Bears punter now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. It'll be a 51-yard punt that time, and the Lions will take over. And Detroit back in possession of the football. 
Last time they were out here, they had the benefit of good field position, led to a touchdown. This time, they're going to have to work for it. They are, but with that last drive that culminated in a touchdown, I think they carry that confidence into this one. It doesn't matter where you start with the football now. They have to feel great about their opportunity. And he'll be out of bounds near the 30. In fact, right on the 30. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. He's starting to fall into the category of not fair because when he's on target throwing the ball, he's dangerous. But when you add in his ability to make plays with his feet, <laughs> almost impossible. Yeah, exactly. They've had trouble stopping him in the secondary. This time they've got the great coverage. Oh, he can run too. Back to throw now on second and 10. Being chased out left. Yeah, they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. Containing him is becoming a big problem. We've already seen this once earlier on this drive. Yeah, and so now two times this has happened. Do you adjust something? Yeah, I think you do. I think you got to start thinking about your rush lanes. Try not to either get too wide or too narrow. Make sure someone is there waiting for him to take off. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and 10. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Flushed out right. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far at second down. I know he was trying to get the completion downfield, but the way this game has gone, with a few of the runs he's made along the way, he should have kept the ball and taken it with his feet downfield. That's the big play that shreds the defense. Instead, he thought to himself, I'm a quarterback. I've got to throw it. He bailed out the defense with that incompletion. On second down, Swift. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. 41 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game, that'll make the guys carrying the ball very, very happy. He'll look to throw. Flush to his right. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. Not only another first down, that also puts him over 100 yards rushing. That's not something you see very often in the NFL. We see it more in college. But I think with more of the melding of the college game with quarterbacks, we'll see this a little bit more often in the future. Back now at Soldier Field. It's the Lions holding onto the football, and they also have the lead as we start quarter number four. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. Starting to become a tough spot for this defense. You're down fourth quarter. Looking a little fatigued maybe on that side of the ball. Partner, we've seen this before, haven't we? Because every coach we've ever talked to says body language is important. And now you're seeing guys with their hands on their hips. They're bent over, hands on their knees. And the offensive guys are just saying, let's just keep running it out. And we've got them now. The Lions on third down. They've hit on six of their eight tries. Very good. This will be third and five. Eluding the pressure right. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Give him seven on the tuck and run, and it'll get him a new set of downs. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. It's caught on the right side by Robinson. Stopped short of the 25. The second effort couldn't free him. That catch good for only a couple. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. 19 yards on the pickup there, and now they'll have it first and goal. A nice throw there. We've seen a lot of those from this young man. And how would you assess, Charles, his first start thus far? I think it's been everything that they could have asked for because he's handled all the basic things quite well. And even some of the wrinkles that have been thrown at him, he's shown a lot of poise throughout and made some nice plays. 
The ball comes out, and that is going to skip out of bounds. So a break there for sure. They'll hold on to the possession at the five-yard line. Very fortunate to get another shot. Here's second and goal. From the gun, here's Swift. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop him right around the one. It'll be a gain of five, and it's going to set up a third and goal. Defensively, they must have been expecting a pass. They were in the dime look out there. I think maybe they were deciding to go with speed on the field rather than bulk. I'm with you. A little bit surprising. They wanted people getting to the ball as fast as possible. The lighter shift your defensive backs allow you that opportunity. Dancing to his left, and he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. It's their quarterback. Already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Lions are looking good here in the season opener as they're able to extend their lead. They've already been on record as saying, hey, if our rookie quarterback's going to tuck it and run on a scramble, we kind of hold our breath. Well, that was a maybe no, 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 yes, as he's able to get into the end zone. Are you saying he's got to learn where the line is about whether you keep your eyes downfield and try and find a receiver or you tuck it and go? And I think he's there's going to be some growing pains with that. I think in this case, he made the right decision. And we know he's got the speed. He showed it there. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Here's the Chicago offense coming back out onto the field. And whatever promise they showed in the preseason has not translated into week one because they have not been particularly competitive here at home, no less. So these fans just kind of beside themselves right now. Meanwhile, Fields throw pulled in by Robinson here. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Seven yards to pick up there. Throwing again on second down. Fields. And he will find his man on the end route. Complete. And this is scooped up by the Lions. And with that kind of a deficit, you can't afford... And now, as with every potential turnover, we're going to take a second look at this. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. Trying to get it to Robinson, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 49. And he will bring it back. An interception return for a Lions touchdown. So how about that? You draft him in the first round back in April, hoping he'll make some plays for you. And now look at this. Instant dividends. A pick six in his very first NFL game. Put that ball on the mantle at home, young man. Coup now for the point after. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. But now the Bears coming out as they get ready. And you can sort of sense their dejection. That last pick six put the icing on the cake, so to speak, in what has been a rough go for them. Throwing after the interception. Fields. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. Back to throw, Fields. That's complete to Robinson. Oh, he's got a little daylight. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. Getting it to him in space pays off big time. That winds up going for 31. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Fields now to throw. Under pressure, and down he goes. They sack him back at the 36. Well, there's no doubt in my mind that he dreamed of this. How about this for your debut? Second sack in the opener. Yeah, it's great to get one. That's memorable. Two? Hello. Well, he dreamed about it. He thought about it. Did he ever expect it to happen? Probably not. To try again after the sack. 
Fields. And he's going to go down again. We've been around this league for a while, and many coaches never pull their starting quarterback, almost no matter the situation. In this case, though, I think he's got to make a decision. He's taking a pretty good beating out there. Yeah, and with the deficit, maybe not wanting to risk an injury. And he will have the Bears' first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now a first down throw, Fields. And that's off the mark, incomplete. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone, and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. Fields throw pulled in by Robinson here. And they'll get this down to the 10. Fields to the veteran Robinson for the Chicago first. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. But, and he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off down at the two. Boy, so another interception, CD, and it feels like he's starting to unravel a little bit. And as you would expect, still a work in progress here in his second season. He has to start ironing out some of these mistakes, though, because now his head coach, his offensive coaches, they have to evaluate whether you keep playing him and let him work through it, or you start thinking about going to his backup. And give him another six. It's caught for a touchdown, and the blowout continues. So this looking more and more like it is going to be a successful kickoff to their campaign as they add on here. And partner, you know NFL coaches, they're on the sideline thinking about all the little things that need correcting. But for the most part, they've got to be ecstatic with the way this season has started out. Extra point by Koo, up and good. And that will extend this big lead. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Chicago offense set to get started. And with three interceptions thrown already, we'll see. Do they, do they rely more on the ground game here? They may have to change things offensively to try and settle things down, not just for the guy throwing the ball, but for the rest of the offensive unit because his confidence has to be shaken a little bit. And you just wonder, is the backup going to start to warm up a little bit over on the sideline? On second and ten, Fields. And they will not get the connection there. It's incomplete. Well, so far on this drive, they've done some good work. They force incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and ten. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure or do they play coverage on this down? And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Josh Jones. And he'll return it to the 24-yard line. The utter domination here just continues. This defense, I don't know what more we can say all around about their performance. Well, it certainly feels in this game like maybe they're facing a Canadian defense. 12 guys on the field. <laughs> it feels like there's an extra on every snap because they have really struggled to make headway through the air. Two yards on the pick up there. It'll be second and eight. Second and eight. 43 the mic. 43 the mic. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Lions in possession of the football as we welcome you back. They've got a second down now as they look to salt this one away. Funches has it complete. That catch good for only a yard, and it'll be third down. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there? Not allowing that to happen. Out of the gun now on third down. This is caught by Robinson. 
And they'll get to him short of the first down at about the 16. Just a five. They'll look to throw. That is caught inside the five. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. Fourth down, no problem. Just a ho-hum pickup of 14 to keep the offense on the field. Partner, I have to tell you, just one word keeps coming to mind from watching them this afternoon, and that's impressive. They have been impressive from the opening kickoff, and they haven't let up here even into the fourth quarter. Well, they probably don't need to run a play here, but you wonder if they're going to be able to resist on first and goal. Now it looks like he'll throw here. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. They're still throwing the football here, and obviously the incompletion stops the clock. That's a bad thing. Feels to me like they're just keeping them honest on defense because you know they're going to stack the line of scrimmage to try and stop any type of a running play. Short little... And this will be caught, and the carnage continues. It's another you touchdown. Turning into a really good performance on the road. Week one, you're just hoping for that first win. It's tough to do it away from home, though, but they're looking strong. It certainly is. Any road win in the NFL is a great road win. I mean, it just does not matter whether it's supposed to be tough or not. In this particular situation, how great will they feel leaving with a win on the road against a tough opponent? A little work still to do, though. Here's Cohen now to return. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. This is just an exercise in futility. Do you, do you even bother running a play here offensively? I wouldn't because now is not going to erase what's happened during the game. So after it's over, you're going to go to the film, find out where the game was really lost. But this is not a situation now where you're going to make up for anything. We'll see what they do here. A big offensive explosion help leading them to victory. And the defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. They will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points. Allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow. So for Detroit, it's a fantastic start as they roll to a blowout victory here in the season opener. And they'll return home next week to take on the Green Bay Packers. Meanwhile, for the Bears, they go down to defeat here in the opener. And they will get a home date next week as they will take on the Dallas Cowboys.